Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast season <laughs> for We On YouTube, baby. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show on the internet. If it's not your job, just let me know who got it so I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their work. That's the same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome, of course. And what we are speaking about this week is the same thing we talk about every week, which is the seven forms of income. So... Um, this is not financial advice. This is entertainment purposes only. And I am a couple days behind. You know, I'm playing catch up. We will catch up because I got a busy schedule ahead of me this week. And before I begin, I would love to wish Alex a happy birthday. Wait, happy birthday. Ah, right, you my nigga. Okay. Now. Today represents Thursday. Like I said, I'm a couple days late, but we playing catch up. So it represents Thursday, and it's the fourth day of the week if you start on Monday. Now, the fourth form of income is dividend income. Feel free to watch the three previous episodes to learn about that. Shout out to the one person watching. Shout out to you. Shout out to, oh, it says two. I mean, it used to say the names, but just shout out to the two people watching. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the love that just popped up. Again, I don't know who sent it, but shout out to the love. Now. Um, where was I at? This week's theme is the seven forms of income from the perspective of an elementary school kid. Oh, that's the homie, France. Okay, yo, it was good, friends. You already know what it is. She said, hey, Kev, yeah, it was good. So today we are going to be speaking about income for dividend income from the perspective of either an elementary school child or or the parent of an elementary school age kid. And I got to make this quick because y'all know I got I to gotta dip. And you see I'm in the whip right now. So any, anyways. if Well, first off, income for is dividend income. So you get dividends from the stock market. Um, and that is getting paid for owning shares of a company. All right. So now, if you are a child. So let's say. Your elementary school age, which I think we determined was, what, 5 to, like, 11 or 5 to 12? I don't remember. It was something like that. Which means you're not quite old enough to run your own stock account. I believe you have to be 18. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So we can't quite get them to open their own stocks. But what we can do is get them thinking about it. And that's the point of this week. So... If you are the child, what you want to think about is what is what are your favorite foods to eat? What are your favorite TV shows slash video games to pass the time? What are your favorite sports? And then last but not least, this is a super cap special. But what are things that you look forward to? As far as gifts, those could be like birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, if that's what you celebrate, or um, graduation. Um, I don't know whether, oh, yeah, that's probably it. I don't know. Elementary school kids probably ain't got that much going on. So there you go. Those three should work. If there are big gifts that you want as a child, there's a fairly good chance that that gift can be translated into the stock market. I'm not telling you to go buy them. I'm not even telling you to learn the math behind it. I'm just saying know what the company is. Now, here's a great example. When I was a young Kev, I wanted a Super Nintendo. All right? I did get one. Shout out to my godmother for getting me one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still got one, by the way. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. So getting a Super Nintendo back in 1990, whenever I got it, was a big deal. And guess what? Nintendo is a publicly traded stock. So if you're the child, you want the Nintendo. If you're the adult buying the Nintendo, I was transitioning to our adults. If you're the one buying the Nintendo, seriously consider if that is a stock. Your kid's asking, yo, can I get can you buy me Roblox? Okay, look and see if that's a stock. Um, 
You're always shopping at Walmart for your kids. Consider investing in Walmart stock in your kids' stock account. Now, what do I mean by that? Straight up, I got my own account. I got a stock account. You know what I'm saying? I got my little goals in there and I'm doing what I can. I also run my son's account and I run it totally different. I straight up run his account differently than mine. You guys could do the same thing. All right? If you know you're always at Walmart for your babies, consider investing in Walmart. You're always at Target, same same deal. What are you always buying? You're always buying um Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks, consider investing in Kellogg's. You're always at the gas station telling your kids, no, you can't afford that honey bun, invest in that, that gas stock. All right, maybe not gas, but you get my point. Uh, again, it's not financial advice and team purposes only. Um, your kid, psh, this is straight up what I would do. If my son ever say, yo, dad, I, I want a PlayStation 5. I'm going to say, first off, you need to bring me a report card with all A's and B's on it or else I ain't getting you nothing. But if you do do that, I'll get you a PlayStation. But please believe I already invest in Sony stock. So I'm getting paid to buy that PlayStation, baby. You already know what it is. Anyways, Nikes. All right. I got some Air Force Ones on my feet right now until I find until I can afford the black businesses. You know what I'm saying? I ain't bought sneakers in years. But when I get back into the sneaker game, it's all black businesses. In the meantime, I wear Nikes. And guess what? I invest in Nike stock. So if your kids say, oh, I want some Nikes for Christmas, cool. You can buy them the Nikes. Just make sure you buy them the Nike stock to match it in their stock portfolio. All right? Um, so shout out to the love, but I don't see any more comments. So if there are any additional questions, you can drop them in the comment section. But I think um, I made my point here. So... Again, if you are the student or the child, your job is to observe the things that you like. If you are the parent, observe what your kid likes and try to invest in those companies for your kids. On that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm alive, there will be a live. As a matter of fact, I'll probably be back soon. This one was quick, so I'll be back, you know what I'm saying, before my next shift. Y'all know I work on calls, so I, whenever the money calls, when I pull up, and with the weather getting better and people trusting the, the situation more, <laughs> quote unquote, I'm not as available as I used to be, which is why I finally gave up and started doing the lives back from wherever I'm at. Whatever car I'm driving, my car's broke, so when you see me in there, we ain't moving. But um, this one's parked. I ain't, I ain't dangerous yet. But... You know what I'm saying? If I got to do it like this, I got to do it like this until I get to where I want to get to. All right? So y'all already know what it is. Your boy Super Kev. As long as I'm A-Live, there will be A-Live. I love y'all. Y'all already know what it is. And remember, support is free. You can like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Recommend me to a friend. That's free. If you want to take your support to the next level and help accelerate the goal of opening my own school, then I will post my Cash App and PayPal donation links in the comment section below. Other than that, if I said this too quick, which I feel like I did because, you know, I like to talk a lot, but I got to go. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section below. You already know what it is. Y'all know I love y'all. I love all the love. I even love all the haters. I love everybody. There's not much hate in my heart. I just hate when I lose playing Street Fighter, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you're looking at a pure soul right here. I love y'all. We're going to be back. Definitely, I ain't even going to say definitely because I be saying that and not coming up, but I'm going to do my best to definitely show up later today, all right? Oh, look, I got sun kissed. Oh, oh, kiss me on my nose. Anyways, I love y'all. Peace, Mo. Bet you somebody out there appreciated the overtime, but nah, I nah, go for real. Peace. <laughs>